Hi friends, we're out here talking about why Bilderberg still matters. We did this in 2012, we're doing it in 2017. Met Rob here, he's going to talk to us. Now that is, that is a wonderful piece of art. We're going to let him talk about why he's out here today. Thank you very much. Um, I'm Rob from ModernLifeSurvivalist.com. Uh, I uh, do a health website and I was awakened to uh, the schemes of these wonderful, uh, our, our benevolent rulers. Uh, through their um, medicinal intervention, uh, holistic things like vaccines and antibiotics, things that make us all better. Uh, they destroyed my life um, because they tried to help me deal with uh, something as simple as acid reflux and I took Prilosec, which I don't recommend anyone do, and it almost killed me. So ever since then I've had an autoimmune disease and uh, I just I switched to like a paleo uh, ancestral diet and uh, I learned about the New World Order somewhere along there because of chemtrails or something and I started to write about that on my website and it was all like a divine intervention that came together and uh, led to me understanding and I got into some Alex Jones, Bilderberg stuff and it opened my eyes and I liked what he was saying about GMOs because it was true so I experienced a, a tangible truth in my life. I am actually a testament to how if we get away from the box food, we get away from the antibiotics, we get away from the drugs, we actually start to feel better. And I used to be like 200 pounds and 250 pounds sometimes. And uh, now I eat uh, about 3,500 calories a day or something. I don't like to measure calories. but. I did one time and I realized I was eating like a pig and I do not gain weight. So. I'm 200 pounds and I hardly eat at all, so <laughs> listen to him. Yeah, I eat a lot of fat. Where they're the just uh, I'm going to yell at them because it's the airport. Yeah. <laughs> if you're trying to help us, why don't you do it in public? I agree, and that's, that's what I feel. I, was, I explained that to my wife. Uh, yesterday, I said, it's not, she said, I do believe they're bad leaders. I was like, that's not the point. Even if they were benevolent, then you have to protest because they're meeting in secret. Mm -hmm. That is clandestine. And I didn't even understand for myself when I was learning about the human growth. I was like, well, what's the big deal? It's a private event. No. There's too many rulers there. There's too much power in one place. So it's a violation of the Logan Act, too. Well, there you go. You so. guys know the law. I'm still learning. I don't. I have heard that, but I, yeah, I'm trying to learn. I'd like to ask, uh, if it's not too personal, my mom was on Prilosec, yeah. and uh, she had her pretty much her intestines shut down. Then she got, uh, without being too graphic here on camera, you might want to hit mute. The, the doctor that did her surgery said he was very happy he didn't eat lunch that day, and he'd been a doctor for 25 years. It, was it something with your stomach? Because you might have saved your life by getting off of this. Um, what happened was the, I, I call it a mechanical breakdown. Um, it was like a computer had stalled completely because the acid is being shut down literally in your stomach by the drug. It's a proton pump inhibitor. I'm not allowed to give medical advice, by the way, but I'm going to anyway. Uh, you're not. You're not allowed to take it, though. By look law. it up. Look it up. Yeah, always exactly. look it up. And uh, so PPIs, uh, basically, the, the one of the side effects is they shut down the uh, motility of your bowels, and that makes perfect sense. It sounds like her intestines just stopped moving. Mm -hmm. but, you know, usually results in constipation, predictably. And it gave her sepsis, and she died. Yeah, sepsis because it gets clogged in there and the food doesn't have anywhere to go except in. And you get tons of allergies, food allergies, is the first thing that will happen. But it could, yeah, it could grow a mold or a bacteria in there and that all goes in the bloodstream and that's sepsis and you're dead. It's not. My uh, blood cell count goes out through the window and, you're, and then you're, you're dead. Last thing I wanted to mention, I did an article once on the paleo diet and I know that there's a lot of fish in it. <laughs> They're breaking the Logan Act! <laughs> he don't care. He stopped to look, though. He did. He did. Um, the worm has been planted. It has. I'm, I'm just worried he's going to call, like, Soros' people and be like, do you think that he would do that? I'm just like, uh, uh, Yeah, but I mean, if, if people... Is this a, do you think that's a threat? I hope it's not a threat. No, you know what? If, if any of us vanished tonight, I think it would look too suspicious for them. So I don't think it's going to yeah. happen. But does that seem too ominous? 
Is that I don't like think I so. want him assassinated? No, right? you, you you want him to wake up and see the truth because he's got. I mean, we all have no, sins no. to face, but him. we've never done what he's done. Right. I just want you know some natural force, just like with these guys, to take him. That's all. I'm just. It's it's just a hope of mine. Because <laughs> it it you know if he's not gonna stop himself, of course I'd rather him wake up. Yes. Yes. But if he's not gonna stop, then it would be better if he kind of just. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> with the paleo diet, I know you eat, you really take a lot of fish. Um, uh, I don't. You those don't. Fish is totally toxic. Oh, Fukushima! I was gonna yeah. ask how you avoided. Uh, I use krill oil to supplement my fish intake, and it's uh, it helps. Krill oil is like a very probable cure for acid reflux. Just so anybody knows, I find that to be the most effective cure for acid reflux. The go to bed refluxing. And I just have to keep taking krill, like I'll take two at a time, fly down and see if it's still happening. Krill, six, omega three. I believe it's an inflammatory process that it stops. So. I understand. All right, but well, she, she, for instance, my uh, Christelle behind the scenes queen cannot take uh, fish oil. I do, but she has to take QQ10, which is, which was actually better for you, though, what you're taking or the CoQ10 for other people that can't CoQ10, take it. CoQ10, I have issues with because it seems to trigger like arthritis and uh, oh, it, it can, yeah. That could be why my knee's been messing up more lately. Yep. It does seem to trigger it. I'm not exactly sure why. Because it's an immune stimulant, perhaps? And when you have autoimmunity, like arthritis, mm -hmm. you can overdo it. So there's some things that, for some people, seem to work. And what's the name of what you're taking again? Krill oil. Krill oil, I use, I actually use Mercola, and I do like Dr. Mercola. Now, would that affect somebody that was um, possibly allergic to high doses of high concentrated fish oil? No, it shouldn't. Okay. It's way less allergenic, way more distilled. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I guarantee you've not only helped us, yeah. but friends, if you listen to this, you got help too. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ways you can hack your health and you just fix yourself. and It doesn't always work, but you will be better. Would you like anybody to get a hold of you if they have any questions or is that something you don't like? I. You can talk to me anytime. All right. I'm uh, always open. Where can they get a hold calls. of you? Uh, you can call me or you can email me at randar. Eight. Oh, actually, let me give you another one. Uh, Rob at modernlifesurvivalist.com, and then you can email me or you can um, contact me through the website modernlifesurvivalist.com. And uh, yeah, he gave us that advice, friends. Of what ten minutes standing in the sun? Imagine what he can do when he hasn't been just put on the spot. Yeah. Amazing job. Thank you so much Thank for being on the show. Too.